So for this video, we're going to be looking at varus and valgus testing, or testing of the medial and lateral collateral ligaments, also known as the ulnar and radiocollateral ligaments of the elbow. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our stress test that looks at the ulnar collateral ligament, or the medial side of the elbow. Now, this is a ligament that's kind of a fan-shaped, it's, it's fairly broad, and there are two uh, kind of known or named bands of the medial collateral ligament, that being the anterior band and the posterior band. Now, in order to assess the integrity of each of those, there's two parts to this test, and so it's not just a straight valgus assessment of the elbow. Instead, we have to kind of break it into part A and then part B. Part A is going to have the individual not in zero degrees of elbow extension, but rather we're going to flex the elbow to about 20 to 30 degrees. Now the reason for this is this is where the more anterior band is taut, right? Additionally, when we perform this assessment, we don't want to have the individual in zero degrees because then it locks the joint out, right? And so then it becomes more of a joint assessment versus a uh, collateral ligament assessment, right? So at this point, our force is going to be in line with the joint, so we're slightly away from the body, which means that the joint line is slightly at this angled uh, orientation, so we need to keep that in mind. We're going to use our elbow to stabilize the forearm here. This then frees up my fingers, my indice and my third uh, finger, to actually palpate on this medial side. I can then get an assessment of whether or not pain is localized to my palpation, as well as to see if those uh, ligaments are on stretch or are becoming taut. My left hand in this case is going to be my uh, mobilizing hand, so I'm going to come here at the elbow, we're at about 20 to 30 degrees, and then we're going to take up that slack and perform our assessment. Now, sometimes individuals will guard a little bit if they're apprehensive about this or if they've had pain on the more medial aspect of the elbow. So if you begin to feel that, pause for just a second, help the individual to relax, you can help them with a slight oscillation, and then you can come back in and perform the assessment again. You may need to check to make sure you're not getting in too much of flexion as well, because that would be part B. Part B is we're going to move into a greater degree of elbow flexion, and that then looks at the posterior band. So make sure you're in about 20 to 30 degrees, not full extension, not too far flexed, 20 to 30 degrees, and then assess from there. Additionally, the second part then is we need to be above 55 degrees of elbow flexion. So for many clinicians, they go to about 80 to 90 degrees. Now at this point, are you really going to be able to do a, a, a valgus test? Not really. And so part B of the valgus test is actually what's known as the milking maneuver, right? And so what you're going to do is switch your hands. You're going to stabilize kind of right at the electron. You're going to allow the individual just to rest for a second. And you're going to take hold of their thumb and pull them back. So it's a little bit of shoulder external rotation, but you're also pulling them back to increase the valgus stress in that posterior band. A positive test here is provocation at this medial side of the elbow. And oftentimes this will elicit that comparable sign or the reproduction of their symptoms and or pain. All right, now you can also assess at zero degrees of extension as we talked about previous, but recognize that anterior band is on stretch or is taut at 20 to 30 degrees, the posterior band greater than 55 degrees of elbow flexion. Now, the second test here then is the varus stress test, or the radiocollateral ligament, lateral collateral ligament. Now, interestingly enough, no studies to date have actually assessed the validity of this test to rule in a lateral collateral ligament injury. And if you stop and think about this for a second, this kind of makes sense. Where do we see the vast majority of injuries occur? At the elbow. In essence, like 98 to 99%. They're all on the medial side. It's rare outside of a severe traumatic event that you would have any implication of the lateral collateral ligament. 
And so there just isn't a lot of utility for this. However, you certainly can use it as a screening test to make sure that you're not missing anything. And it takes all of about five to 10 seconds. The setup is virtually the exact same. The only difference is, is that you're switching positions, right? So here to then here. Again, you're gonna do this at about 20 to 30 degrees. I'm gonna do it on this side just so you can see it a little bit easier uh, with the angle of the camera. We're gonna stabilize here. This would be our valves assessment. We then switch, slight flexion, the individual is relaxed. And then we make our assessment there. Now make sure as you do this, you don't allow the individual to come into too much of a permeated position. They do need to stay in that supinated position and then make your assessment. So, two tests are various and valgus stress test, looking at the medial and lateral collateral ligament, recognizing again that that medial collateral ligament has two parts, both the anterior and the posterior band. Have a go with the Pure Colleague. Let me know if there's any questions.